YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome, I'm so glad to have you. And if you've been rocking with me for a minute, what's up, what's good, welcome back. So we're just gonna dive right into this beauty here. This is one of the new units by Sensational and her name is Boss Babe. I did do a review on the other new unit, Alpha Woman, which is a longer version of this. If you haven't seen it yet, make sure you check it out in the description box down below. And I'll also link it in the cards above. Boss Babe does come with your typical cap construction. It has two combs in the front, a comb in the back with adjustable straps. It does come with a curved part that goes back, I would say a good four and a half inches. It falls on me, I would say maybe 10, 12 inches or so. This is a lace front wig and the parting is set on the right side. Let me give you a quick 360 of the unit. All right, so let's dive right into the pros of Boss Babe. My first pro to this unit absolutely is the texture it's the same as alpha woman it's a beautiful soft luscious kinky straight texture and i am in love with it i'm running my fingers through it and i'm not getting any tangling whatsoever and that is something you should know about synthetic wigs that have a yakier texture the tangling tends to be minimal almost to none like it's insane and I, I love it, I just love it. I have reviewed another synthetic unit that is Kinky Straight, the Free Trust FL003 unit. Definitely check that out because it has a similar beautiful texture, just longer, and I just can talk about that wig <laughs> forever and ever. Beautiful, $27, check it out. Another pro to me is the length. I think this length is perfect for every day, a nice little work slay. And also being that it's synthetic, you don't have to worry about the fibers rubbing up against too much of the fabric because that's how it is with synthetic wigs. The longer it is, the more likely it is to shed and tangle because it's rubbing against fibers. Remember, it's not human hair, it's synthetic. So you have to keep that in mind. But with this unit, this is something that's going to last you a very long time due to the texture and length alone. I also like the cap size on this wig way better than Alpha Woman. Alpha Woman was fitting me very snug and I was a little surprised by that. But for some reason, Boss Lady does not fit me snug at all. And it's pretty much, you know, coming down to my ear. My widow's peak is peeking out in the front. It's not always snatched, so that's why that's there. But I, I think the cap is a lot more comfortable on Boss Babe. Another pro is the parting space. I think it looks really nice and natural. I didn't have to pluck anything. And I also like that it's a curved part, which I think makes it look even more natural versus just having something that just goes straight back. Now let's dive into the cons of Boss Babe. First con to this unit, I would say is just all of the filler hairs. Now when I had Alpha Woman, I did show you guys what I was talking about. I thought it was just like crinkly roots, but upon watching other people's videos, I was like, no, these are filler hairs. It's a little out of control for me and it makes the unit really poofy. Now, mind you, when I blow dry my natural hair, yes, there's a poofy element to it. I don't always get my roots all the way blown out, but when I have a wig, I don't really wanna deal with all of that. So that is why I use my handy dandy, Revlon brush. That one step dryer is a holy grail. When I say that I think everyone should have that dryer, everyone should have it. I'm gonna link it in the description box down below. It'll be an Amazon affiliate link. So you are welcome to check it out, possibly purchase. And if you do, it helps me out a little bit too. I highly advocate for that brush because look at how nicely it smoothed out this hair. I didn't have to thin out the unit. I didn't have to cut out any type of tracks or anything. That dryer alone really did the trick with just a few passes. Another thing I noticed about this wig that was a little weird, the texture as it went towards the bottom was like more of a light yakky texture versus the kinky straight all throughout most of the wig. It made the wig look a little stringy at the end, so I kind of just snipped that off. It was barely an inch. And I think it makes the ends look a lot better. Like, do you agree? Because, yeah. It looks a lot better to me. I'm just so glad I was able to make this style a little bit more to my liking. That's what you have to do with these synthetic wigs. Sometimes I hear people say that synthetic wigs are like whack or you know, they rather do human hair because they don't like synthetic wigs. And I'm just like, sis, maybe you just don't know how to style your synthetic wig. I would never wear Boss Babe how it was out the pack. Y'all saw how it looked, it was, it, it looked wiggy. It looked humpy, it didn't look 
presentable. <laughs> you know what I mean? But like this, come on now. Tell me this isn't my hair. Tell me this isn't my hair. Is that your hair? Yes, it's my hair. You know what I'm saying? Like this looks really, really good. And it's all because I put in a little bit of extra effort. You know, I dab my got to be glue. I flatten on the top with the blow dryer. I smooth out the filler hairs. You know what I mean? Don't just plop these synthetic wigs on your head. All of them require some ounce of work and I highly encourage you to do the work. Sometimes it's a little bit, sometimes it's a lot, but no matter what the case is, it's always worth it in the end and it'll make your wig look Seamless. Like right now, I feel like this is rivaling a lot of kinky straight human hair units out there. If you don't want to pay, um, you know, over $100 for something that's kinky straight, $200, you should check out this unit and do exactly what I did. And you'll have the same effect for a quarter of the price. I just don't think you can go wrong with Boss Babe. I think I might like her a little bit more than Alpha Woman. And I was really feeling Alpha Woman after I blew her out. I don't know, something about it just looks really chic. I feel like I look real around the way, girl. You know, I got my little sports shirt on. I got my sweats on. I feel like I'm about to go play ball. Be on my love and basketball-ish, like. <laughs> Oh man, I feel so cute in this wig. Also, my makeup today kind of is reflecting that attitude. It's very low key. I have all my lashes on, some pressed powder, lip gloss, some concealer. That's about it. I just feel so relaxed wearing this wig. So I wanted to like give off that effect with my makeup. Now, let me know how you feel about Boss Babe in the comments down below. How do you feel about the style, the texture? How do you feel about the steps I took to make her look like this? You don't want to have your wig look like what it looked like before. And I showed you with Alpha Woman as well. Put in the work with your synthetic wigs and you will reap the rewards. And if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Tap that subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit the notification bell because I have way more videos coming up. We are on the road to 10, we are on the road to 10K and I am so excited about it. So share this video if you care and yeah, help me reach my goal. Hopefully by the end of March, we'll see. Also, I know people are dealing with a lot in terms of the coronavirus, so definitely make sure you're staying safe out there. I'm actually off work for like three weeks. I mean, I have to work from home, then I have a spring break, but I'm not going into the classroom at all for three weeks, which is kind of crazy. I would never expect that in the middle of March, but here I am. So I'm hoping to churn out a lot more videos for you guys, hopefully three times a week. We'll see how it goes. I'm definitely excited to have some time off. Doing YouTube and having a full-time job as a teacher is hard, y'all. It's hard as hell. And I'm just trying to stay afloat. So all of you that have been rocking with me thus far, man, it means the world to me. If you wanna check out some of my latest videos, you can check them out over here to the right of me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. You're looking at me, girl, and I ain't talking about the licking your